Hey, welcome back to my channel. And this is a brand new channel. And uh, appreciate all and any new subscribers I'm going to get. I'm going to talk to you about what I've got in front of me. As you can see, I have a AEC um, articulated lorry that's in pieces. It was damaged, it was stepped on, and it's a little bit busted up. But I only want part of it. And as you see, I have a, a bus here that I've had for a little while, a couple years. And I'm going to, um, as you can see, I have some black lines on here. I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to use the back half for this particular project and make a car carrier. And this will be, this will now become the front, and the truck will, it'll go in there. Once that's cut off, that'll be cut off, and truck will be attached to the front and it'll all become one piece with a little bit of uh, finessing on the bus part and the base I will use a piece of the part of the, the base for the uh, one half and then the ramp will be will be built separately and as you see I have a piece of paper here with all of the in, the details on it where the bus is going to be cut and so on and if I need to do any shaving or any creation of that and then of course it's going to be cut from the back this will be this will be solid left on and where the window is and it'll be cut down here on both sides and it'll end up looking like that at the end when it's done so we'll have the tractor here as you see It'll be attached to the front, and it'll be become one piece. And I can't show you the cutting because of where my device is, and uh, I have no way to really get any a camera on that. So I'll come back to you when I have everything cut, and uh, we'll go from there. So the last time we were together, I had a bus all in one piece, and it looked something like that. I was going to do the cuttings, which I did. Took the roof off and cut the sides down. I didn't show you all that because it was noisy and and uh, you didn't need to see all that stuff going on. But anyway, this is the finished product. As you can see, it's been cut down and I got the deck all ready. And in there is a piece of aluminum siding that I fitted in there. And then I have a, a plastic. Um, nice textured deck to go on and that has to be glued down and I took off some of the bumper and filled in the windows and I've got the hole drilled for the cab to go on the cab's going to go like that and I'm going to do some I uh, haven't decided on a color yet and uh, do some finalizing with with putting all this together and it should look pretty good the car will fit on there like so like so and I still have to put the um, stopper bumps on there so it doesn't roll off and I'm going to uh, I think Make another. I make a, a race car to fit on there. Make it look cool. So that's where we're at right now. Just have some finessing to do here, and the cab should be done. And we'll figure out a color to be painted and get everything together and put together. And it will. Look something like that when it's all together. I think it's going to look pretty cool. So that's where we're at for now. See you in the next time.
finished product. Uh, if you remember in the last video I was showing you everything the way it was in its uh, rough form hadn't been it hadn't been um, it hadn't been um, primered or anything and I hadn't decided on a color so I did finally come up with a color and come up with this combination of two colors. Now I didn't go into all of the details of, of recording everything because I did a lot of this was the first attempt to do anything like this and it took a lot of time. I did a lot of farting around to get everything the way I wanted it. But here we have it. There's the decking and the bump and the bumpers and uh, and the color that I did this is the color I used shimmer metallic candy corn. I don't know how I got candy corn out of orange, but anyway. And I put in new jeweled headlights and I didn't have any chrome pen. I'm trying to find a chrome pen in the area and I haven't been able to find one yet. And then I did the metallic blue, which was this one, Star Spangled Blue, which is a testers, which I've had for a while. And then I did the uh, <clears throat> Did the wheels and that, and then I added some some um, jewels at the back here for tail lights and side lights. And as you can see, the base was was cut down and it screwed on. And in the last video, I was showing you the uh, I did the windows and I didn't do the front one because I, I was trying to do it using what's called draft stop, which is. Uh, um, a caulking that you peel off comes off after you're done with it, but it wouldn't hold enough It wasn't strong enough to stick that I could get the windshield in and, and I, I, I ended up Using a pair of tweezers with a heat gun heated and put them through the made two little small holes in the windshield to get it in there Now the reason I didn't have it all in there when I had this part Because I didn't know what I was going to do with the uh, with the wind with the windows at that time but anyway there you have the finished product I it's too heavy for my turntable so I can't show you on the turntable uh, maybe I'll, I'll I have some stills that will probably be at the end of the end of the video here and as you can see I put in a couple of exhaust stacks and put the exhaust in there and uh, there you have it so that's an AC, ACL, ACL truck and the bus. So for you purists, sorry. Ah. Okay, there you got it. See you on the next one, which will be Inspector Morse, which was supposed to come before this video, but I had trouble with the paint. So Inspector Morse's Jaguar will be my next project. Okay, gentlemen and ladies. Later.